It's the man Sidekicks coming at you with another video. As you see from the last video, I still got the same boxes up there. They may get rotated out probably in another week or so. Well, whenever I get back from um, from winter break, definitely heading back up to Detroit. So you all will be seeing some uh, some vlogs from up there as well. You will see a few little sneaker things up there as well. Um, so my city got to off and find some of the sneaker work since everybody's sleep on us. But it's it's all good though. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure y'all stay woke to our culture, our sneaker culture up there too. But um, before we get started in this video, I would like to announce the two winners for the um, that were in the raffle for the hats. So our first winner is Keith Wright. So I'll be sending you an email. And Brandon Polanco, I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, please excuse me. Um, but I'll make sure I definitely hit you two up in your emails or your Instagrams. Let you know you want. You can pick any hats you want uh, between the SB's um, hats. SB, good Lord. SB hat and the regular Nike drafted hat. So congratulations to you all. Um, so man, I, not getting to this video, man. I think I got bit by the hype beast, man. I, I think it came out of nowhere, and it just sunk its teeth into me, and it got me on a pair of sneakers. Like, I wanted them. They always look dope, and I was hearing the hype, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna get into it. But I was like, I just been seeing it so, so much. I was like, I, I have to get them. I, I had to get them, and then I tried them on. And then it sucked me in even more, so I had to get them. Uh, but this is what I got, man. Like, and I can't deny, I, I tried them on the store, another pair, and I was just like, yo, these are the most comfortable things ever. Um, but yeah, I gave in. And you guys can probably already see by the box. Some of you might know what it is, but bam, I got the Ultra Boost 3.0 Triple Whites. Man, let me tell you something. I've had plenty of runners. I do a lot of running. Um, if, I'm pretty sure you're like, no, you're not running. I can tell by your body, boy. You look kind of skinny. But I, I promise you, I do be running a lot. And I work out all the time now. But this shoe, man, I have Asics. I have Roshis. I have all types of runners. But this, by far, is like probably one of the most comfortable. Between Gel Light 3s and probably uh, the Roshi runs, like, it's up there. I need to try some other runners, like some Prestos, too. I don't have those, I should say. So I don't have every runner. Let me let me not lie to y'all. But, man, I'm I'm so impressed with this shoe. And they got the little counterweights on here. Like the Ultra Boost. Now, this is my first pair of Ultra Boost. I don't have any Yeezys or anything like that. So this is my first experience with um, Boost material. And I will say Adidas did a really, really good job with this material. Like, it feels... Just amazing. Like, I just walked up and down the aisle uh, of the finish line near me. Um, just trying to shoot this in the store. I was like, you know, I, I told him, I was like, he was like, you sure you want these? We got the, the alpha bounces. And I was like, let me tell you something, bro. I, I want these. I want these. And this was the last pair. I feel like he was trying to hold them for his boy. But you know what? I, I had to get them. His boy just wasn't going to get them that day. But they have the, the cage on here. I like the fact that the tongue... It's just integrated with the shoe. It's part of the of the shoe itself. I mean, I'm pretty sure you all have seen a few of you seen uh, Boost or Ultra Boost, but I like that and I like the the pull tab and it actually pulls. Like you can just slip this thing on and off with ease. Like man, like I'm saying, this is just a really really dope shoe. I like the fact that they have the continental rubber on here as well. Um, a lot of people were telling me the original ones, the 1.0s. I think the 2.0s. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But they didn't have the continental rubber and they would wear out like super fast. You would get down to the white boost material like in no time. But for what I've been hearing now with the continental rubber, if you guys don't know, that's a, a tire company as well. So they, they, they rubber better last. So I'm pretty sure it's a much uh, better quality rubber. It looks like it lasts longer. The grip on here is like ridiculous. I can't wait to go to the gym and hit the treadmill with these. Like I said, I usually run in my road shoes. I'm on the treadmill. Sometimes I use my uh, my Asics, a few different pairs of Asics, but right now the Roshis is kind of like beating out the Asics. This, that's just my opinion. Like I have really weird narrow feet sometimes. Well, not sometimes. I do have weird, weird uh, narrow feet, but this is like I said. This shoe is overall is just amazing. Like just just banging. The only thing I will say that when I tried it on. I think I may have to take out the insole because my toe, I mean, I had enough room. I had 
like this much room. It was it was a room in there, enough for me to wiggle. So when you're running, your feet swell, and it wasn't like at the toe box where I'm just dying out there. But it's a little snug on top. Like this prime knit is is hugging you. Like it's it makes you ain't going nowhere. But I made it take out this boost, uh, insole. I mean not the the boost, the insole itself. But like I said, Adidas did a really nice job with this. I see why everybody's running over to the boost life. I, I think I might be too. I guess depending on how this performs when I, um, next time I go to the gym. But man, like I said, I'm just overall impressed with this shoe. I love the cage on here. I know a lot of people, they um taking the cage off, which is fine. I do like uncaged as well. I don't know why those are just sitting on shelves for some reason. But it's, it's still a dope either way with the cage or without the cage. They just didn't have any um uncaged boost when I was there because like I said these aren't even sitting on shelves so I think somebody either they just got them in or they returned them either way I got them and I had to get them and I told myself I wasn't my lady she was like you know you want them so just get them. I was like don't be a temptress just I don't don't but I got them anyway she got me um I am thinking I may get another pair and I may just um customize the cage I think I might do um how the new NMDs are, one that just came out, it's coming out. It has the red, blue, and black on there. I think I might do that with one of these. It, it would kind of stand out to me. It'd be a little dope. Just something um, be like a little BMW um, M3. So, I appreciate you all for watching. Congratulations to those winners. And I, th I think I may have gotten bit by the hype beast. I think I might be getting some more of these. Just, it, just on looks. I might not even run in these all the time. If I get another pair, but... Like, I, I, I think the boost, I think the boost life, I think it got me, y'all. Uh, so you all comment below. Let me know what you all think of the Ultra Boost 3.0s. How do you feel like it performs for you? And what shoe do you actually run in if you do run? Or it's just all around just good comfort shoe for you? Um, so yeah, let me know. Appreciate it. Peace. Mad Sign Kicks out.